Dramatic courtroom testimony today in the trial of former Utah Attorney General John Swallow. Political specialist Lad Egan following the proceedings all day joins us live with what a key witness had to say. Lad? Yeah, Dave, today John Swallow's defense team finally got the opportunity to cross-examine the prosecution's key witness. During that cross-examination, defense attorney Scott Williams questioned convicted felon Scott Jensen's claims of extortion by the former attorney general. When, when politicians extort from you, they, they do it in a, uh, in a different way than a man with a gun sits standing on <coughs> a street corner or a thug in prison standing next to you demanding to take your stuff. It's, it's done, it's done in, in a more genteel manner. The defense also hammered Jensen on why he didn't quickly repay $4.1 million in restitution when he was living in luxury in Southern California. Jensen said he spent about $900,000 to live at the Pelican Hill Resort for 10 months. He said he had four other homes at the time with millions in equity and an extensive art collection. At the time you agreed to pay victims restitution, how many million did you have? That. 30 million. Yes. Jensen testified that Shirtliff and Swallow had told him not to worry about the restitution because their office was supervising the plea deal agreement. Earlier in the day, the prosecution entered a series of receipts and billing statements into evidence from that Pelican Hill resort. Some of those detailed the 2009 anniversary trip for Swallow and his wife. Defense attorneys had said it is not a secret that Swallow went on those trips, reminding the jury that Swallow was a private citizen at the time. Also today, that key witness, he did not immediately name now House Speaker Greg Hughes as what he named as the mystery man that attended a secret meeting in Southern California in 2009. But later during cross-examination, he did tell the attorney that he got a good enough look and he confirmed that he believes it was Hughes there in Southern California. But Dave, as you'll remember with my reporting, Hughes denies that and says that he has proof and he has offered some of that proof detailing that he was in Utah at the time. Three days, three days down, many more to come. Lad Egan, live for us tonight. Thanks, Lad. Dini.